Look, I'm going to tell you why the law of attraction might not be working for you. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today, I am discussing why the law of attraction isn't working for some people. <clears throat> and the answer is in the question. It's not the... Um, the fact that the law of attraction isn't working for you that's causing you to ask the question why the law of attraction isn't working for you it's that you believe that law of attraction isn't working for you that's making it not work okay um, the law of attraction works based on your beliefs and that is what your subconscious is communicating to the universe the universe listens to your subconscious not your conscious mind, because your subconscious mind can't lie. It's based on what you actually believe, and not the crap that comes out of your mouth. Okay? Um, whatever you say, your words, they don't have any power unless there's emotion behind them. Don't say that you want something, because if you had whatever it is that you're talking about, then you wouldn't want it, right? Do you have a computer that allows you to watch this video? Then you probably don't want that computer because you have it. It may be a good computer, I'm not saying you don't want it, like you want rid of it, but you already have it so you aren't in want of it. Do you understand? Um, so, in order to uh, for to tell the universe that you should have something, you have to say, "I have whatever this is." Now, if your belief isn't strong in the fact that you have it, then you're going to cause the opposite to happen because belief is a hundred percent. Anything less than that is, it leaves room for doubt. And your subconscious can't lie to the universe. So your subconscious isn't going to tell the universe that it's 100% believable if there's a, any margin of doubt. So you have to b fully believe it. So what I do if I want something and can't say that I have it without um, feeling some kind of doubt is I replace that have and want with <clears throat> phrases like I'm looking forward to having this or I can't wait until I have this or pretty soon I will have this and that makes it easier for me to believe because you know it it's one of those like middle ground areas where you're not saying that you lack it, but you're not saying that you have it, but you are communicating to the universe and your subconscious is believing what you're saying, you're communicating to the universe that you will have this, that it is in the realm of possibility, and that allows it to soon become more believable to you. And the more believable that it becomes to you, the easier it will be to say, I have this. And as you approach that time, it's going to be inevitable that it will manifest itself soon. Just to recap, um, your words don't have any power <clears throat> unless there's emotion backed up behind them. Belief is 100%, any doubt, and you're communicating the opposite. If you can't say, I have, say something that anticipates it soon becoming a reality. And as a final note, you know, if you're new to the whole idea, then start small. You know, don't try and manifest something that you can't easily believe in. You know, like if you, if you say, I'm gonna make a million dollars next week, you probably don't fully believe that. You know, try something like, I'm going to make $20 next week. 
and don't expect it to come out of thin air because unless you believe that it will come out of thin air it won't you know the law of attraction works more in terms of what's um, believable to you so it will most likely come in the form of an opportunity like someone needs their uh, grass mowed and they're going to give you twenty dollars to do it you know that's where the twenty dollars comes into play <clears throat> for example this morning my computer wasn't working I kept turning it on and it would come it would come on but it would just be a blank screen and I couldn't get it to get off of that finally I just put my hands on the computer and said I can't wait until my computer turns on so I can get to work in three seconds it came on okay so start small work your way up stay believable if it's not working for you then you're either starting too big or you're get putting out empty words without putting the belief in so yeah that's all i have today um hope this helps you and uh see you next time all right thanks bye